Strap yourself in, buckos, because we're going on a wild ride this morning. Richard La Ruina, a self-styled, what was it, dating guru, <laughs> has a game hitting Steam in March called Super Seducer. Learn state-of-the-art seduction secrets from the master himself, Richard La Ruina, in this incredibly valuable live-action seduction simulator. Looks like a load of fucking toss. Some people have played it early. One of those people was I Am Patty Jack. Very much like me, not the world's biggest YouTuber. I'm talking in terms of views, not physical size, your wise asses. Not really someone anybody should cry about, but I Am Paddy Jack added Super Seducer to their Worst Game Ever series, and the Love Guru didn't take kindly to it. It started as these DMCA takedown stories do, oh yes, it's going there, rather pettily, with La Ruina adding a comment to Paddy Jack's video, taking umbrage with a few points made in Paddy Jack's video. First of all, Richard wanted to correct Paddy Jack, who stated that the dating simulator seduction advice game, whatever you wanna fucking call it, was taking place in a hotel room, and it does look like a sleazy hotel room in the screenshots, but that's actually Richard La Ruina's bedroom, so let's make a note of that. This is really where he does all his grotty little things. So unchristian. He also seemed quite annoyed with the advice that Paddy Jack had in his own video. I guess LaRuina doesn't like having competition in the pickup artistry sphere. Paddy Jack's advice was just be yourself, but LaRuina does not like that. He says that's a good one for all the virgin nerd shy guys who are not allowed to meet women in the street but hate bars and clubs. What? I'm pretty sure anybody's allowed to meet people on the street. Every time I've gone on a street, like, I've, uh, I've met people, I've said hello and that as I've walked past them. I'll hold doors open for people and that, like, pick up something if they drop it. I'm quite a polite young boy in real life. Well, not so much young. I mean, not in London, obviously. They'll slit your throat for smiling near them, but some places are friendly, and it's not against the law to say hello to someone. <laughs> Fuck. And there are also more than three places to meet people. Like, we will get to the DMCA stuff, but I want to just talk about La Ruina's view on the world. The street bars and clubs, they are not the only places where you get to meet other human beings, my dude. There is work, there are friends, meeting friends through friends, go to a party at someone's house. If you're a really nerdy, shy person, if you're a virgin and you hate bars, I don't think those two go together quite exactly. All that's fine, by the way, and be a nerdy shy virgin, ain't nothing wrong with that, but if you are that way, like, go to a LARP. Contrary to popular belief, you'll meet all sorts of people at a LARP or the Ren Fair. They do a Ren Fair over at Texas Way. You will meet loads of people there. I've not actually been, but I've had plans to go because I know someone who did go one year and he loved it. Just mead and beef all over the fucking place. That sounds awesome to me. And from what I hear, things get quite decadent over there. So if you are just looking to bone down, slap on a Night's Watch costume and see if you get lucky. Or a gaming store. There's a store around here in Jackson. Uh, Vans, it's called. One down by the coast, McNabs. And it's not just blokes. I can't believe I'm dedicating this much video to just that one comment. Let's move on. But basically, be yourself is good advice. Unless you're a shithead. In which case, work on not being a shithead. Speaking of which, Richard LaRuina continued his campaign of ego assuasion. In a tweet now deleted, the love guru said, your 12 subscribers gonna be like, can this guy with the droning voice be quiet and just play the audio from the game? And why didn't he watch Donkey and learn how to make an entertaining video? Seriously, dude, I love this videos, but this is a weak attempt, one out of five. I know, mate, like, Considering how dissed you seem to feel, I'd call it a strong fucking attempt, and I haven't seen the video yet. I can't, because you issued a fraudulent DMCA takedown strike on it. <laughs> so I am Patty Jack warned other streamers and YouTubers that if you get a review code for Super Seducer, you should watch out for Richard shit-talking you, should he not like your criticism. Richard, still angry over a video that got like a couple hundred views by the time he first saw it, fired back with, no, I talked shit because you called it worst game ever. There are people who had negative things to say and I left them positive comments. They didn't make a video with a title like that that will sit there forever. And then Patty Jack reminded him that they sent review code to someone who makes a series called X is the worst game ever. LaRuina admitted that that was pretty dumb, apologized, 
and that would have been that. Except when someone pointed out he did the right thing instead of escalating the situation with a DMCA takedown request, LaRuina took that for encouragement and said, oh yeah, we have our DMCA subscription, I forgot about it, nice one dude. I didn't realise you needed to be subscribed to the Digital Millennium Copyright Act in order to file a DMCA takedown. What the fuck is this guy on? Penny Jack quite rightly and fairly warned him that that's not something he wants to do, and LaRuina of course, because he had to save face, said he decided not to. I believe in freedom and democracy and that American stuff. We only DMCA when people will rip our products. Penny Jack called him out on that face-saving smugness by suggesting that LaRuina really wanted to do the DMCA takedown, but saw how things went down with Digital Homicide and Cool Cat. And it turns out goading someone with a very fragile ego will make them do very, very, very stupid things. The next thing Penny Jack knows, Richard LaRuina's PR department emails him apologising in advance for the DMCA takedown that was filed on his video. In addition, Patty J gets a message from LaRuina saying, Hi, are you around? I said I wouldn't DMCA. You told me I wouldn't do it because I am a pussy. I did it. Now I'm going to retract it so your vid should be back up soon. I thought we reached an understanding once I apologised for dissing you on Twitter, but the best thing would be if we don't communicate anymore. So because Richard LaRuina thought he was being called a pussy, which he wasn't, he was actually being called a wise person, he decided to act as unwisely as possible. Oh, that is a boy with some fragile masculinity. After that little bit of fun, the poor fuckers working Super Seducer's PR apologised again and went so far as to offer monetary compensation, which Petty Jack didn't want because this is a matter of dollars and cents, if that. At the time of talking, the video still seems to be down, but Richard, bless him, bless his little heart, is still trying to make amends, even though Petty Jack has repeatedly stated he doesn't want his fucking money. The love guru sent 50 bucks through PayPal anyway. Credit where credit is due though. La Ruin is your only friend while well, he's the living end to the cattle he deceives, does know he fucked up and isn't doubling down on it like Digital Homicide did or the cool cat bloke did. But that's where the credit stops because nothing will quite undo the fact that this love guru, the developer, the man behind Super Seducer, issued a DMCA takedown strike because a YouTuber made him feel like he had a little acorn winky. So bruised was his ego, so threatened was his sense of manhood, that he issued perhaps one of the most fraudulent takedowns we've ever seen, over a game that was literally sent as code from PR to said YouTuber with express permission to showcase and monetize. With all that in mind, I'm now not surprised that LaRuina took issue with the phrase, be yourself.